you're ready to get everything that you prayed for and some, well, I'm here to let you know that you're going to get everything, single thing that you prayed for, and you're going to get a little bit extra because God is a covenant keeping God. Every single thing that you've been praying for, all those beautiful desires that you've had, God is going to answer your prayer. God is going to answer your cry. He's already answered your cry. You have to not be anxious because whenever you're over anxious, you're going to overthink. So don't be overly anxious because God tells us be anxious for nothing but in everything. He tells us it comes through prayer and supplication. He's telling us today, let all of your requests be made known unto me. So every single thing that you have been believing for, every single thing that you have been praying for, God is going to answer your cry. It took a long time, didn't it? It took a while. You have some battle scars. But you are a testament that anything is possible. If you can just believe anything is possible. You never look at the circumstances, never look at the situations that are around you. You got to know the power that your God has. And you have to know the power that he placed down on the inside of you. You are getting ready to get everything that you asked for, everything that you prayed for, and some extra. God is going to do something abundantly. He's going to do exceedingly above everything that you can ever ask or think. Why is he going to do it? Because he's a covenant keeping God. And he's going to do it according to the power that works down on the inside of you. I don't know about you, but you better get excited. I feel a leap in my spirit for you today, family. It's been a long time coming. Hashtag that. It's been a long time coming. Now, whenever you're waiting on God, whatever you do, don't speak negative. Don't get offended. Because it's so easy for us to get offended whenever we're waiting on God. And when we see other people receiving blessings, answer prayers, and miracles, if you're not careful, you're going to become offended thinking that God has respect to person, but God has no respect to person's family. It's just a test. Hashtag that. It's just a test. Take a deep breath in and out and say that. It's just a test. Hashtag that. It's just a test. That's all it is. God is testing your faith. He's not tempting you because God doesn't tempt his children to sin. The enemy is going to tempt you. See, this is how you're going to know you're close because the enemy is going to tempt you to sin. He's going to tempt you to rebel against God. He's going to tempt you to turn your back on God. He's going to tempt you family to come out of character. But whatever you do, don't let those triggers cause you to go in a different direction. Apart from God, you got to stay hooked up to God because if you stay hooked up to God, the sky will open up for you. God said, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do more. Think about what you believe God for. God said, I'm going to give you that. He said, but I'm going to give you a little bit extra. He said, I'm going to give you a good measure. He said, I'm going to give you a press down. He said, I'm going to give you a shaking over. Shaking together and running over blessing. You know, God will cause people to give into your bosom. You don't have to know where it's going to come from. Listen, you don't have to know when you're waiting on God. You don't have to know where your blessing is going to come from. You don't have to know the source that it's going to come from. You don't have to know the direction that it's going to come from. All you need to know with assurance that it's going to come. It is. It's going to come. And when it shows up, it's going to be on time. When it shows up, it's not going to be too late. It'll never be too late for you, family. It doesn't matter how long you've been waiting. It doesn't. Because you got to understand this. God says, yes. You know, the first day that you prayed, God heard your prayer and he answered your prayer. But that old Satan, that old devil, he intercepted your prayer. He intercepted that answer from coming to you. But God has an answer that is coming to you. Listen to me. God has an answer that is coming to you. You've been inquiring of the Lord and it seems like you've been blocked. Satan intercepted that answer from coming to you. But God is telling you to hold on 
He said, because I have an answer that is coming to you. God said, hold on. He said, because I have your breakthrough coming. God has a blessing for you, family, with your name on it. What God has for you, family, the devil can't take it. The things that God has for you, eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, neither has it entered into the heart of men. The things that God has prepared for those who love him. Whenever you're waiting on God, you're going to be challenged. Whenever you're believing on God, your faith will be tested. It is your faith that is on trial. You always remember that. It is the faith that you have in God that will be tested. God is not tempting you. He is testing you. He's purging you and he's building you stronger. He's making you better and he's making you a wiser person. You think about what you've been asking God for. You think about what you've been praying and asking God for a family. God said, I'm going to do that. He said, then I'm going to do a little bit more for you. He said, because you waited so patiently. They that waiteth upon the Lord, he said, I'm going to renew your strength. He said, you're going to mount up with wings of eagles. You're going to run. You're not going to be weary. You're going to walk and you're not going to faint. God said, man ought to always pray and not to faint. Whenever you're tempted by the sake, by Satan to quit, you remember what God said, pray and don't give up. When the enemy comes in like a flood, God said, I'm going to raise a standard against him. I'm going to say that again. God said, when the enemy come against you and your family, your health and your dreams, your prosperity, God said, when he come against you like a flood, he said, I will raise a standard against the enemy. He's your Jehovah Nisi. He's your blood banner. God is faithful. He's going to do everything that he said he's going to do. Everything. But God said, I'm going to do a little bit more for you. He said, because for your former shame, he said, I'm going to give you double for your trouble, for your former shame. All those things that cause you to hold your head down, all those things, family, that cause you to be sad and to be weary and to be heavy laden. God said, for that, he said, I'm going to give you double for that. All those sleepless nights that you've had, God said, for that, I'm going to give you trouble. I'm going to give you double for your trouble. Can you imagine you getting double for your trouble? He said, I'm going to give you double for your former shame. This is what God has for you. And what he has for you, there's no devil in Hades that can take it. The enemy wants you to believe that he can take what God has for you. He's not powerful enough. He's not strong enough. And the power that it, the enemy has, guess who gave him that authority to use it? God gave Satan the power to use it. And he gave you enough power to use as well. He said, death and life are in the power of your tongue. You better stand up and speak out. You better stand up and walk in the power and authority that God gave you. You are kingdom ambassadors. You're a king's kid. That's who you are. You are the head. You're not the tail. You are above any problem. You are above any situation, not beneath. You are a lender. You're not a beggar. If you feel like you got to go through your life begging, that's what you're going to do. But whenever you understand who you are in Christ Jesus, you're going to know that you are royalty. You're a chosen generation. You are from a royal priesthood. That's who you are. God said, I've heard your cry and I've heard your supplication. It didn't go unnoticed. God said, it's coming. He said, just hang in there. Thank you for tuning in today to the broadcast. Continue to watch these videos. Watch this one over and over and over again. Watch these pre-recorded lives. Watch these pre-recorded videos over and over and over again. Watch these videos repetitively because when you watch it and when you listen to it, your faith will be stimulated. And when God give you a nugget, he may give you something different. Watch this video. Watch all of them over and over and over again. Hang in there. Don't you give up on God. He didn't give up on you. He's saying, be patient. He said, I'm coming. And when he come, he's coming with a mighty hand. When God come, because he's going to show up 
and he's going to show out in your life. God is going to show up and God's going to show out. How is he going to do it? He's not going to do it by might nor by power, but he's going to do it by the spirit of the living God. Thank you for tuning in today on the broadcast of You Are Enough. Jump over to my Instagram at Nikki G. McCray and give me your support over there for my, my family to yours. Thank all of you for what you do. God bless you. Bye-bye.